Hi. My name is Marcus Hill, and by the time you watch this, I will be dead. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, and I'm not gonna go into explicit detail, so I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I've been very unhappy for a very long time, and after all, I've just decided that enough is enough. <laughs> Mom? I really love you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this, but... Just... Try and forget about me. Dad? <laughs> Sorry. You were a really nice guy. And I always know that you've found it really hard to connect with me sometimes, but it's okay. I forgive you. That's pretty much the basis of what I wanted to say. Just try and remember, remember me every once in a while. Thanks. Excuse me? Hi. Um, hi. What are you doing out here? I think it's pretty fucking obvious. Do you want to put the knife down for a bit so we can talk about it? I'm not interested in talking. Just go away. It's not any of your business. I know it's none of my business. But I'm not leaving until you put that knife down so that we can have a civilised talk about this before you do something that you might regret. I don't want to talk, I just... I just want it to end. All I'm asking for is a few minutes of your time. Can you give me that? Just a few minutes. Fine. But only for a few minutes. I'm Holly, by the way. Marcus. It's nice to meet you, Marcus. Do you want to tell me the reason you're out here? Was I not stressing my point earlier? No, I mean the reason you're out here. Why would I tell you that? I met you a minute ago. Do you expect me to tell you my entire life story? From what I've heard, talking about things 
can help. Yeah, to like a therapist or something, not some random stranger I met in the forest. Well, maybe don't tell me this full story. Tell me a shortened version. Fine. It's just been hard, you know, like school and friends and family. It's it's just all gone to shit and I've just decided that it's easier to check out earlier, you know, I guess. Haven't you thought about how your family would react if you did this? Of course I have. <laughs> they wouldn't give a shit. They haven't given a shit about me for the past two years. That's being overdramatic. I'm sure your family would be devastated if you did this to yourself. You don't know my family. <laughs> I may not know them, but a human is a human. I'm not so sure of that. Like, it's so fucking typical. Like. People say that your parents are supposed to care about you and to love you and to look after you, but if you saw how my mum treats me, you'd think she's the fucking devil or something. Do you want to come back to my house? What? I'm, I'm not meaning that in a creepy way, just to get a glass of water, grab something to eat and think about what you're going to do. No way, just leave me alone and let me do what I just came here to do. I'm not leaving you and nothing you say is going to change that. If I give you, like, an hour, do you promise to, la to leave me alone and let me do what I came here to do? Fine. I'm giving you an hour. An hour is all I need. future must recently, but if I had to like pinpoint it, I guess I'd say I wanted to be a cartoonist. It's interesting. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> I have thought about having my own man vs wild type show, <laughs> but I cool. also want to be a critic. Being a critic is always promising. Yeah. What were you thinking about reviewing? Television films mostly. That typically is what critics review. Yeah. What about plays? I don't know. Plays aren't really my thing. Kind of fall asleep through them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, who's your inspiration for being a cartoonist? Warner Brothers, Disney? Um, I guess if I had to like really choose. Probably be Warner Brothers. You know, like Mickey Mouse was cool and all, but I was more of a fan of you know the Jetsons and the Flintstones and Looney Tunes and jazz. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Looney Tunes. Like Wile E. Coyote and the Road Runner were by far the best. I never watched them. What? How is that possible? <laughs> they were never really on when I was watching. It was always you know like. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and... Mm. Well, I guess we've found something to do. But be warned, I'm very nitpicky. It's the weird old nostalgia you feel while watching it. <laughs> I 
How did the train even get there? It doesn't make sense. It's just a stupid kids cartoon. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I'm off. What? Why? Well, you said come over to my place for an hour. I did, so I'm going. Don't go, please. I said to you I would stay here for an hour. It has been an hour. I'm going back. You're about to make one of the stupidest decisions of your life. Why do you care so fucking much? You're just some stranger that I met in a forest. I only know two things about you. One, that you like to judge cartoons, and two, you have a lot of photos of your brother on your wall! Why does it bother you so much? I just think it's really weird that you have so many photos of him. Do you guys have an unhe unhealthy relationship or something? No. Then tell me, just before I go, what is the fucking deal with those photos? He's dead, okay? You happy? Why would I tell you? You're just some stranger I met in a forest. If you tell me what happened to him, I'll tell you about me. He killed himself, okay? For a while, Mum and Dad were just pestering him about school and work and future plans. And I guess he just couldn't take it anymore. I remember walking into his room had a gun in his hand. No one knows how he got the gun. But he shot himself in the head. I just remember catching his body in my arms. It was covered in blood. And then from that day on I promised myself that if I was ever given the chance to save someone's life I would. So that's why with the photos and that's why I can't let you leave. Jesus. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. So, why did I find you in the forest trying to kill yourself? Well, I'm autistic. You know what autism is, right? Yes, of course. Well, if, at school they started making me do all these special Glasses for people who are autistic. And I tried to keep it a secret from all the other guys and stuff at school, but like kids do, they always find out. And by the next day, I was every boy's punching bag. And at about that point, my parents stopped giving a shit. And it's just loaded on and on, and I've just decided that it's too much, so I just went up to that forest. It's my story. I'm sure your parents still care about you. They don't just forget the fact that they have a son. See, you'd think that, but you really haven't met my parents. Sucks that you were bullied because of autism. If it helps, I didn't even know until you told me. Well, it's not the bad kind. There's no such thing as a bad kind, but it just means that I struggle with certain school subjects. <laughs> could be worse. How could you mean it could be worse? You should see this.
probably think it through. I had no idea how my parents would react. God, I'm so fucking stupid. You're not stupid, Marcus. Resorting to suicide. It's a crazy idea, but it doesn't mean you're stupid. You just need help. And help can get to you easily. Yeah, I guess so. You can always contact me. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thanks again. What you did for me really means a lot. It's okay. I'm just happy I could save your life. Anyway. So, catch you around. I guess. See you, Marcus. I saved someone. If only I could have saved you. Summer heat, in January came to me. She said it's time to get a move on, kid. Cause you gotta stay ahead of the weather. What did she mean? I still don't know. Of all these winds and tides and all the it seems too much to say. But speak of such forevers. Now life was never easy. A never ending series of those desert roads that never meet their promised destinations. Weary pioneers that choose the promised land and ruby shoes. Click your heels together Cause you gotta stay ahead of the weather These are the beautiful days These are the beautiful days There's all things changing, all things grow All things happen, all things fall But when we get there you will know That you can't stay under the weather all things build and all things fall And if things change, they still might grow And when we get there, you will know That you gotta stay ahead of the weather When we get there 